Are your hip flexors tight? We're gonna go over three different stretches to address three different muscles that are usually associated with hip flexor tightness. To find out if your hip flexor is tight and which specific muscle is tight, check out our refresher video of part one in the series with the link below in our description. My name is Dr. Marco Lopez, Dr. Physical Therapy and co-founder of The Basketball Doctors, and we're gonna go over on how to really stretch out your hip flexors. All right guys, so the first muscle that we're gonna go over is the rectus femoris muscle. It goes from your hip all the way down to your knee. It's one of the longest hip flexor muscles. So this is how you're gonna stretch it. You're gonna go in half kneeling position. We're gonna be stretching out the right side. From there, you're gonna tuck in your stomach, squeeze your butt, and from there, you're gonna grab the back of your leg and try to bring that heel towards your butt. So the reason we're bringing the heel towards our butt is because the rectus femoris muscle goes from the hip all the way down to the knee. In this position, you wanna be nice and tall, like Gabe is, and now you should be feeling that stretch all the way down to your knee. If you still don't feel a big stretch, then you could add in some rotation. So now he's gonna grab it with his opposite arm and then rotate his body away. Now he should really feel that stretch. And make sure you're not leaning too forward. You wanna be nice and tall. If you lean forward, you have to lean your whole body forward, not just your hip, because that's gonna disrupt the whole stretch. So that's how to stretch out the rectus femoris. So you could add in a dynamic motion with the twisting, or you could just keep it just plain old simple there, holding it for 30 seconds or so, okay? So that was the rectus femoris muscle. Now we're gonna move on to the iliopsoas muscle. That's the muscle that just stays only in this area of your hip. So that's like the true hip flexor, just at the hip. It doesn't go down to your knee. So we're gonna stretch it very similar. So we're gonna be in half kneeling position. He's gonna be nice and tall, pushing off his back leg, squeezing his butt. He should start feeling the stretch right around here as he tucks in his butt, core is straight. If you don't feel a big stretch, then you could add in a little movement forward to get a bigger stretch, or you could add in a dynamic 3D motion where you start doing different movements. So going a side bend or even adding in a rotation there with it. So adding it to be more dynamic in nature with the stretch. Like I said, this is a progression from just the original one being in this position this is just gonna get a little bit more of a dynamic effort in different lengths and in different directions of the hip, il iliopsoas muscle. But the biggest cues are, like Gabe showed, you have to keep your stomach engaged. Don't just arch your back, because a lot of people arch their back when they're stretching out. That's not gonna be the correct way. You gotta lock in your stomach and tuck in your butt, and that's how you're really gonna get that true hip flexor iliopsoas stretch. All right guys, so we went over the rectus femoris, then we went over the iliopsoas. The last one is a TFL, the muscle out to the side, but is a hip flexor still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a figure four stretch. So here Gabe's gonna demonstrate. So you're gonna lay down on your back. We're gonna be stretching out his right TFL. He's gonna bring that right leg over towards his left. And this whole point, we're really gonna be focusing on not so much getting a glute stretch and bringing it out here. We're gonna be focusing on external rotation. So with his right arm, he's gonna push his knee towards me. When he pushes his knee towards me and his ankles here, we're going into that external rotation there. So he should feel that stretch opening up as he's pushing away and getting that external rotation stretch there. If that is too difficult or you can't really find that stretch, we're gonna use this little modification. We're gonna go up against the wall and then we're gonna use that leg on the wall to free up both of his hands here. So now he could really hold on with one arm and then push with the other one. And now he, once he gets in that position, now he can push with both. So he's really getting that extra, external, uh, external rotation. So he's really getting an, a, a big push with his hand to get a bigger stretch into that external rotation. And that's how you stretch out your TFL. All right guys, so those are the three big stretches we gotta really address to address those three muscles that are associated with hip flexor tightness. So to review, we have the rectus femoris, that's the muscle that goes from the hip all the way down to your knee. Then we have the iliopsoas muscle that's around here. Then we have the TFL, slightly out to the side. And we have specific stretches for each one. If you wanna know what exactly muscle is tight for you, check out our video, the link is in our description below on really how to perform the test at home to find out which muscle is tight and that way you can use the stretches we showed you to address that muscle. In regards to stretching time, Research has shown that you have to go for at least 20 to 30 seconds, two to three times, 
And then in regards to length, you have to be doing this every day for at least four to six weeks to see real big change. My name is Dr. Marco Lopez, doctor of physical therapy and co-founder of the Basketball Doctors. Hit the like, share, subscribe button, and share this with friends and family. We are the Basketball Doctors. Let's ball for life.